everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today we're going to do a garden tour. It's probably going to be, uh, actually I know, it's going to be in a couple different times a day because I'm also canning tomatoes, but we're going to do a garden tour. Alright guys, so my garden is slowly but surely is starting to go over to look more and more like summer and slash fall because I'm starting to plant a couple of other things. I do have a couple things that I'm hardening off right now um, just because I've let them grow pretty big. So I will show you those two as well and I'm going to up pot a couple things too. But let's start the garden tour. Alright guys, so... I'm going to start calling this the okra bed because the okra has taken over. We have the okra right here, which I need to cut, yes, another one, and I'm pretty sure that one and that one will be ready by tonight. And then we still have the cucumbers going strong. And then look at this, guys. The loofah has started to grow. So maybe, just maybe. I mean, not giving up on it so early, it's going to do something. So it's actually attached to the uh, trellis now. And look at there, it's starting to grow. So I'm kind of excited about that. There are some rattlesnake pole beans right next to it. And then also over here, we have the cantaloupe. And the cantaloupe is trying to attach to this pole here. And I'm just letting it because the... Uh, Malabar spinach will take a little bit before it starts climbing, so it'll probably be starting to climb like really tall once the uh, um, cantaloupe is done. So we're just going to let the cantaloupe do whatever it wants to do as long as it gives us cantaloupe. And then look at these guys, these okra, that was a motorcycle, <laughs> these are the red okras that are finally starting to get pretty big. And then the corn is starting to do its thing too as well. Now the corn's starting to, it looks like bulk out at least on that cob a little bit. I'm not sure when to pick corn and I heard something about the tasseling corn. So any of you guys that have grown corn, please leave a comment down below and tell me when I'm supposed to detassel. Now also the cool part guys is look at how the Armenian cucumbers are growing into the corn and using the corn kind of like as an additional growing space. So I think that that's kind of cool. They completely have taken over this trellis, which is beautiful. It looks so pretty from the walkway. So I'm kind of excited about that, but it looks like it's gonna grow into the corn too as well. And then we have the peppers over here that are starting to really fill out and then they're getting new buds. I did want to come in and kind of just trim up a couple of the older leaves to give them a little bit of airflow, but I just haven't done it yet. So for those of you that want to know what okra I'm growing here, I have two heavy hitters and I have one Clemson spineless. Now the heavy hitters are the ones that are being the really big producers. They are producing a lot of okra, usually one in the morning, one in the evening, and I just get little baggies of okra every single week. So I'm not mad at it. For those of you guys that are growing okra, I'm going to do a video on what to do to, or how I preserve my okra, and that will hopefully give you guys some ideas on what to do with all your okra, because when it comes in, it comes in a lot. So let's look at my medicinal bed. It is slowly starting to need a change. I think I'm finally starting to slow down on my toothache plant. What's wild and crazy is this roselle. Now the roselle has been loving the Arizona sun and it has been loving the uh, weather, like the, the rains. Now when it is really hot outside, I do cover the roselle with that, um, that um, shade cloth, <laughs> lost my train of thought. So it doesn't get like 100% direct heat, but today is only 101, so I left it open. And it's cloudy a little bit too. Also down here, I have my toothache plant. As you guys can see, it's starting to get a little bit of sickness to it. Um, and it's not producing as much anymore, but we got a lot off of that. And then over there, the catnip is starting to come back. Catnip's making a big giant comeback. So when I go inside, I'll show you guys just how many little toothache buds I've gotten off that toothache plant. 
Just the one plant has gotten me at least a fourth to a half of a jar. Maybe like a fourth of a jar, but it's a lot. Now my beanie babies are still doing great over here. One thing that I think I prefer to do, because I was trying it both ways, is to start my beans indoors because I think that they grow a lot faster if I get them a good head start. They do grow a lot stronger if I put them in by seed or just directly into the ground, but if I start them, they do grow a lot faster. And then I have my Mexican Grace spent our squash has now taken over the patty pan squash over there in the corner. The uh, storm really ripped these apart, guys. So I'm I do plan on taking these out, but it's starting to produce again. So I was wondering maybe I should just kind of leave it in there. And then I have another Malabar right there that's looking nice. The Malabar is loving the rains and loving the warm weather. It's really making it start to grow. I have this nice little basil here. I love this basil plant, guys. This is like one of my favorite. And then my Chinese red lung noodle beans, I think it understood me threatening it and it started to put out new leaves that look better. So I am gonna leave it and see if maybe they'll start climbing and join the uh, Armenian cucumbers. Now over here, this shishito plant, guys, is doing a lot better than the ones in my pots but it's starting to grow back and it's starting to grow new leaves in here and it's also starting to grow new branches right there so this one i think is gonna be able to hold up really well in the pot here as you guys can see my mojito mint is growing back this is why you never take your all your roots of your mint out because it'll grow back you just it just needs time to be able to decide what type of weather it likes now guys, it's funny because I was actually going to take this shishito pepper plant out, but when the winds got really, really bad, like we had those 70 mile an hour winds, it really tore up my ones in the pot. Like it literally picked up the pots and threw them about. So I was trying to put them back together and I pruned them, but they're not looking too hot. So I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so this is number one. As you can see, there's not a lot of green left on this stem. Now, if this stem looked like this stem, or even like this, I wouldn't be worried. But since it looks like this, I think that it getting thrown about was something to be worried about. Now, this shishito, I'm a little less worried. Um, actually, I'm probably a little bit more worried about this one just because this one had undergone so much hail damage the first time, like two years ago. So I'm just gonna keep feeding it and see what happens with them and hope for the best. If not, I do have that shishito pepper plant while I get new ones um, going. So my eggplants are doing pretty well too as well. This one is starting to flower. So I might be getting more eggplants, which is exciting because I have spaghetti sauce. And then the basil over here is doing really, really good, guys. Look, it really bushed out. Now, the cantaloupe, yes, that did get eaten, which is annoying. But the jalapeno pepper is doing pretty good. This one is, and this one is. This one I had to cut all the way back. So we'll see how that one grows back. And this is what it looks like when it's dead. And this one is that candy cane one I tried growing. Now over here I have some red okra here, a red okra there, and then some more basil, which I have, well, this is my old basil. I have more basil to go in this one that I'll show you guys in a minute. And then there's another red okra there. And then over here, my rosemary is still looking pretty good. I still have yet to put soil in here. That's why you guys still see it's still really low. And the sage, it's starting to grow back. I'm probably thinking I'm just gonna cut these down and then just let it continue to grow all the way back this is what happens when it got really bad sun damage but now that the weather's cooling a little bit it's gotten a lot better all right guys it is getting really muggy outside <laughs> um so the rosemary area i really do need to put some more soil in there i think that i can get those even taller if i kind of add some more nutrients into the soil that little pan has not had anything in it in forever as far as like new soil or compost or anything like that. I do want to show you my starts before I finish the garden tour. 
I have them out here, guys. Now, the cilantro definitely is going inside because it will bolt, and so is the thyme. I just have them in here because I just stuck the whole thing out here in the shade today um, because there was a little bit of fungus at the top of that, and the sun will help kind of neutralize that and kind of get rid of it. So I'm going to uh, repot the uh, thyme and the cilantro and keep those indoors in a windowsill. And then the basil, this is the lettuce leaf basil that's gonna go out and then the amaranth is going to go out um, probably in the big bed. Now I had ordered those, those Jiffy Pea pods off of Amazon and normally what I do is I put the pea pods in boiling hot water to sterilize them. But I did not do that with those and so I'm getting like a little bit of just like fuzziness at the top so the sun will help sterilize that soil and that'll make a big difference but I am going to wait till the sun goes completely down oh wait let me show you guys my trees all right guys so the mulberry is doing a lot better it's starting to green up and bush out a lot and it's lost all of the dead leaves but it's starting to gain a lot more new leaves it is kind of drooping over I don't know why but I think it's just because the wind just keeps tearing it up and so here is the lime tree it is doing pretty good it's bushing out and growing new branches here in the middle um, some of the older branches have really lost their leaves but I only have a couple of like dead branches here like not that many probably like one or two so other than that it's doing pretty good we'll see how it goes but it growing more in the middle that's gonna be a big deal because I want it to fill back out all right guys, so my phone has overheated like 20 times <laughs> trying to film this because it's so hot and muggy, but I am going to go plant the basil, get the cilantro and the uh, thyme inside and repot those and then also plant the amaranth. And I think that that'll do it for the day. But until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.